Meghan Markle's last words in a letter to her estranged father have been read out in court for the first time as her privacy battle with a British tabloid heats up. It's just messy this one, isn't it? And Europe correspondent Ben Avery joins us now from London. Ben, what did the Duchess write? Uh, Ali, I can read you those final words now. She said in the letter, I ask for nothing other than peace and I wish the same for you. So that's been read out by her lawyer in court today when he was trying to highlight just how personal this letter was that she sent to her father, Thomas Markle, in 2018 with the purpose of uh, essentially telling him to stop speaking with the press. Now, in the end, that letter, at least in part, ended up in the tabloid The Mail on Sunday. So that is why the Duchess is now taking this legal action, suing for breach of privacy. Her lawyer says it's such a, an extreme breach of privacy that this case should not even go to trial. This hearing is all about trying to get a judgment without needing to do that later this year. He has said, at its heart, it's a very straightforward case about the unlawful publication of a private letter, which he has described as a heartfelt plea from an anguished daughter to her father. Guys? Thomas Markle has responded. Yeah, so a witness statement from him. Uh, the father as well has been tendered to the court. It's been made public in the last few hours and uh, his response shows that there's still a lot of animosity there. He said, the letter was not an attempt at reconciliation. It was a criticism of me. Uh, the letter didn't say that she loved me. It did not even ask how I was. So this would get very interesting because two things could happen here. We could see an end to this case in 24 hours or so if the judge says, yes, this is a clear-cut case and it doesn't need to go to trial. But uh, on the other side of the coin, if it does go to trial, that will happen uh, in the British autumn, which is towards the end of this year. And then we could see Thomas Markle in court, Meghan Markle in court as well, facing off and, and a lot of this back and forth happening essentially in front of the world. And, and not just that, there could be any number of people called to give evidence, including uh, some of the people who uh, worked uh, for and with Meghan Markle while she was here in the UK.